Next up is Scylla. Scylla, 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 Scylla. To all crew members, there is only one toilet on the ship. So don't sit on it for three hours, apparently. It occurs to me I should probably find Marauder gear at some point. Just kind of makes sense. I'm multitasking here. I'm avoiding going to Grand Breaker because I'm hoping that w it seems likely that one of these beacons might just take me there. <laughs> so let's save a trip if we can. But I also want Marauder gear to finish off the fashion quest. And we'll see if anything else really even comes up. Where would you like me to go? Over there? Hmm. Oh, chugging a little bit. Up. Ow. Oh, it made me slow. Corpses are still around, generally, from before. Wait, is it going to be right outside the barrier? Or inside? Of course. is this tour one of them takes us here outside the barrier where you die if you go there and the next one takes us to Scylla 1 which is monarch or Terra 1 which is monarch which is dead these don't bode well generally speaking <clears throat> is there a human settlement around here those are robots Trying to remember if there was like a Marauders zone. Oh, those are Marauders. That's scrap mechanical. There's a Marauder. Hello. Well, that's awkward. There you go. Sup. So <laughs> I don't know why the mech is so weirdly resilient, uh, unresilient to getting kicked. Hey, you guys got Marauder Chunks? Alright, that's zero gear. Unhelpful. I need that local fashion, if you will. Oh, well. I probably need to go buy it or something. Or if not, I have just as much chance of getting it on a monarch. Of course, one of these would take us to monarch. So then I told him, oh, ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. That tickles. That was a joke. Ha ha. Fat chance. In base four, I'm fine. Of course, this is inspired in certain ways by Gladys. It'd be weird if it wasn't. Snarky AI joking about murder and other things. Don't remember the internal zone that well, so I'm not sure what the best spot is to go with here. Hope for the best. 260 meters away. Alright, time to hustle. And also maybe get attacked by some convenient marauders that'll give me their marauder gear. I said convenient marauders. 
Come at me, bruh. Bruh. There we go. I guess I've never quite been right here. Oh, look, Marauders. Oh, they're even called Marauders instead of Outlaws. I guess that's probably important. Even though it's hard to say what the distinction really means in the universe. That appears to be the ringleader of this whole operation. Oh, he just died on his own without me doing anything. Hey! Oh god, I'm so sorry. Did I get him? Entering not have to aim mode. All germs and contaminants have been neutralized. Hey, all right, there's, there's some hooligan armor. Any of you have Marauder like helms I can use? I've got to wear it for like three seconds to impress somebody. Ooh. The Mega Canid. Mega does not equate to bulletproof. Don't mess with the best. Oh, he big. Real big. really highlights how much the entire terraforming thing failed when this tour was set up so long ago that this place was supposed to be the most Earth-like planet to house in, in, in all of Halcyon. Now it's a sulfur-filled nightmare. And humanity has 100% not prospered over it all at all. Thank God for fast travel. <laughs> Definitely makes a quest like this a little easier. Nope, never took me to Earthbreaker, as it turns out. Today, Sam. I am not in the mood for a deep clean. Oh, all right. Some culprit who shall not be named spilled Rizzo's lemon slap on my console. Who shall not be named? We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. And I'm kind of done with you, Felix. You're, uh... How do I say, uh, extremely boring? I'm not really sure what to make of Felix. He's, like, just a step above Sam in terms of characterization. <laughs> Which is not a great start. Definitely feels like three or four characters got a lot of the attention. Wait. Oh, that's what's, that's what's going wrong. Okay. I was like, wait, why is it telling me to go so far away? Alonzo? I'm not here to see Alonzo. I'm unfortunately not convinced I have any kind of helm that counts as Marauder. I just have more Marauder armor now. Is it done? I spoke to Chartrand. I'm not going to kill her. Well, damn. Contractor grew a conscience. 
As your employer, I'm both angry and disappointed. I'll add that to your file. Technically, I owe you an exit interview. Care to justify your betrayal of our species, or are we finished here? You misunderstood Chartrand's research. She's our best shot at survival in Halcyon. You're awfully quick to trust someone who offed her colleagues and called it a good start. Out of my office. We're done. What a surprise. Seems we're no longer wanted here. Yeah. Straightforward outcome. I at least owe you an exit interview. When she said that, I thought she was going to shoot me. <laughs> Which would not end well for her. Maybe that's why she didn't do it. Sorry for giving you tons of profit and whatnot, and all the other things I did help, to help you out with. You, the trust goes zero anywhere. Period. Yep, I am a fan of the get back up when you're down ability. Them getting downed is relatively infrequent, but if they just get right back up, then... I'm good, genuinely speaking. What can I do for you? Need some Adreno? It's good for you. Spacer's promise. Don't take my word for it. See for yourself. Make a choice. Spacer's choice. Uh, have a look. He's so spaced out. Yep, standard helms. Lots of copies of this accessory helm. Increase your lying ability? I guess. Hmm. Oh, hey. That helped out with my space a little bit. He always sounds like a... like... Patrick Warburton blitzed out of his mind. Yep, you only sell weapons. None of which are rifles. Like you were born to disappoint me. Oh well. <sighs> Marauder's armor, but only the helm, basically. How am I gonna get that done? Slap your whole family tonight. Alright. <laughs> I'll see you guys back on Byzantium. I'm gonna go ahead and farm some Marauder gear. Till it drops. Or find out where to get it at least. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. You're adjusting before you pull. You're anticipating it. You of course I'm anticipating it. What if yep. I shoot a These are looping. Time? We're seeing the same ones now. Oh well. Welcome back! Oh wait, my multitasking is showing. Uh, there you go. There's the audio. I think we're done with Sam also. Go back to these two. Sam doesn't give us a ton to work with. Alright, got the helm eventually. I... I did a full loop around Emerald Vale, that whole zone, killing things. It just wouldn't give me a helm. They all had body armor over and over again. It took so long to get a helm, and it was and the one helm I did get was from a corpse that looked like it was a story corpse. Like I don't think I killed that guy. I think he was just there. In the bottom right corner of the map, there's a zone. There's a place called the abandoned. It's like the abandoned wreckage or the old wreckage, and it's like it's old. It's some old wreckage. Uh, it's covered in primals. It just looks like some random ship that crashed. It's, I don't feel like it's really worth showing, really. But it's just like a random spot of curiosity that I don't think is quest-related for anything. It's just kind of in a corner somewhere. A corpse there had the had finally had a helm from one of these guys. All the marauders either don't drop helms, or they drop helms that are actually like Spacer's Choice or some other faction that's like better than what I'm looking for. And it was like really counterproductive and annoying. 
We got it, though. We finally made it. This is purely the completionist in me doing this. This. Then I'm not particularly invested in the outcome of this quest necessarily, but I'm just like, I, I've done everything else. Why, why, why ignore this one quest, I guess? Oh, how grotesque. I always suspected the dramas did no justice to real marauders. Their armor is so much more hideous in person. Yes, that's it. I have it. I know exactly what we're doing. Brace yourself, my dear. We're going to call this style Barbarian Chic. The saucy confidence of a spacer, the raw contempt of an iconoclast, the brutish musk of a marauder, and the pièce de résistance, monster leather. One part Manticween chitin, three parts hide from a raptodon's flank, and let's say, oh, eight strips of primal leather. No, make that ten. I was expecting a simple modeling job. We're revolutionizing the fashion of Byzantium. Our work is anything but simple. I'm not some backwater laborer, Celeste. I don't work for free. I love the way you just smolder with contempt. It makes me want to spoil you. Here, treat yourself to a nice new gun or something. Get this done for me? And I'll have you strutting about in a Jolicoeur original. You will be the envy of Byzantium. There was a weird line break, in, like a, a skipped line in those subtitles that I've never seen before in this game. That was odd. Did you just give me a fucking MMORPG style fetch quest? Three wrapped on flanks from, ra from Monarch. Ten pri... Primal Leathers from Emerald Vale, where I just was. And Man Monarch Manticween. Mm. You, you just gave me a fetch quest. Like, this is an MMORPG. Not fond of that. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ooh, clever boy, clever boy. Clever boy. Stellar Bay. Hey, Beast Boy! I've got some, uh... Aha, uh -huh, there's somebody dumb enough to do this work for me. He's already done it. It's not lost to me, by the way, that I've killed a lot of primals. They give me primal hide, not primal leather. So it's probably scripted so you can only get these resources during the quest. You can't just have it lying around already. Which is kind of frustrating, because I've already killed a ton of primals and would like to have already been done with this quest. But, additionally, those resources are counted as scraps. I mean junk, which means you automatically sell them. Which means this game does the crime that, uh... Dragon Age and some other games do, where they make- they give you a they give you a junk item to, to sell automatically, and then one- then one day we blindside you with a quest that's like, haha! And here's why you want that resource on hand, and it's like, but you told me it was junk. You lied to me. I went the wrong way earlier. Couldn't help but notice your shooter, Dr. Fenhill. It's quite a sharp piece. Isn't it something? I keep meaning to name it, but I can't come up with one that sticks. That's funny. I thought you didn't care much for nice things. Hey, a pirate's nothing without a rep. And this baby has a rep of its own. Man, I still really wish you guys had some kind of recognizable, like, character classes so that there was a reason to bring you along over other characters and, like, there was sort of choice. You just, you really are just generic gun users. Anyway, hey, Sebastian. You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts? You look like a man that can help me skip the farming process. Wrapped it on hide times... Wrapped it on flank hide times three. Manticween chitin. There we go. You definitely just spawned those into your inventory when I got this quest, didn't you? You did, didn't you? Yeah, I have primal hide, but it's the wrong kind. Now I just need ten primal leather. Ah. 
I don't have a clever way to get that. I think I just have to run around on Emerald Vale for a while. Where I just was. And shoot more primals. Zippity da zippity. <laughs> Eh. Alright. Jump cut number two. See you guys later. I don't really feel like watching showing me farming primals. Welcome back. I am in travel agency. I have acquired resources, but that's not why we're here. This is a different place. Victor? Victor Osterhout? I can't talk to him really. Yo, oh, it's you. I suppose you're here to collect your prize. Mm -hmm. I really do have the worst luck. When I gave you this job, I never expected you'd be so damned competent. That's me. Damned competent. Yes, go on and gloat. You've already ruined all my plans with your talent for staying alive. The tour's not real, friend. Board shut it down years ago due to unacceptably high rates of fatalities. So I greased a few palms and got the tour up and running again. I outfitted every beacon with a recording device. Live footage of dim-witted mercenaries dying in gruesome ways across Halcyon. Oh, imagine the ratings. Oh, that's so sad. Can I have my hat now? Fine, fine. You're entitled to your reward. One certified explorer's hat, courtesy of the Bureau of Exploration. With my compliments. Aw, thank you. <laughs> Literally sent me to die, god damn you. Just a literal waste of time. At least it's a cool hat. Is it a cool hat? Did I get a cool hat? It's a really fucking... Like, the way that everyone freaks out instantly, it's like really distressing. <laughs> it's a little too real, how like several people around you just instantly start screaming in shock. You're like, I don't... I don't like it anymore. I guess the characters are so revolting that you almost want like a, and then everybody clapped. Technically, I was a priest, not a prisoner. Oh, so you could leave whenever you wanted. No, I had to fulfill my duties first. Then you had a sentence. Not exactly. You just got a lot more interesting, preacher. Ooh, they're bonding. Awesome. I had the wrong quest on active. I'm definitely getting some uh, exercise out of the quick save, quick load option in this planet specifically, just because it's like <laughs> they're all so fucking miserable, Pete. That's like concepts. What can I do for you, darling? Antiquid chitin wrapped it on hide, primal leather, all done. I've been thinking of a name for this new outfit, Chimera. Crafted from the hides of three species of monster. While you were gone, I put in an order for one of my bespoke lapels. Solid gold, diamond encrusted. If it doesn't have one of my lapels, it's not a Jolicar original. Those slackwits at HPS are holding my parcel while they wait for a signature. Bureaucracy is so utterly insufferable. Be a dear and retrieve it for me. You're asking a lot from me. Understatement of the year, darling. Believe me, I'm every bit as frustrated as you are. No, you're not. <laughs> I've been all over the colony for you, and now you want me to deal with bureaucrats. I know, my dear, you do spoil me, but this outfit is my masterpiece, and that lapel is my signature. I simply must have it. These monsters are forcing you to sign for a parcel. What a massive inconvenience. 
Can you believe the cheek on these people? If I didn't know any better, I'd say they were trying to grift an autograph out of me. All right, I'll get you that parcel. Wonderful! I'm giving you authorization to retrieve this parcel on my behalf. You truly are my savior, darling. They can't just deliver it here? <laughs> Why can't they just deliver it here? Anyway, I need to go to HPC for the main quest anyway. So I'll just get in on there. Can I ever talk to you? What's your deal? I'm afraid I can't help you at the moment. Have a prosperous day. Why do you exist? Why are you at a counter if you're not here to help people? Whatever. Hi. A fine day for parcel pickups, isn't it? How may I be of assistance? You have a parcel waiting for Clark, Minister Clark? We do, in fact, have a parcel here for a Mr. Clark, comma, Minister. I'm here to pick up the minister's parcel. You're not an official member of the Halcyon Parcel Service Team. That means you'll have to sign a release form. How do I do that? Oh, I'd have to submit a request for a release form, and then wait for a receipt for my request of a release form. Then you'd have to make an appointment. How long does that usually take? Couldn't say. We've got a backlog, and I'm planning on retiring in the next 35 years, but I could give my successor a memo on your behalf. You're kidding me. You're welcome to lodge a complaint in our suggestion box. Actually, no. We're still waiting on our delivery of a new suggestion box. The minister's here in Byzantium. I'll make the delivery, and you're free to take the credit. You do that? Wow. Hey, you know, a positive review from the minister would go a long way in my semi-monthly employment audit. Here's your parcel to be delivered to Mr. Clark, comma, minister. Law speed. Thanks. Goodbye. Semi-monthly employment audit. That sounds a whole lot like, yeah, like every single, every two weeks they checked whether or not you're going to still be an employee or if they're going to fire you. How may I be of assistance? Celeste Jolico sent me. I'm here to sign for a parcel. If you would like to sign for a parcel, please go to window B. What? Is this why you exist? Please remember that Halcyon Parcel Service is not responsible for any lost, damaged, stolen, or confiscated shipments. Wait. How may I be of assistance? You were capable of assisting me, you just didn't for some reason. I'm here to collect a parcel for Celeste Jolico. <sighs> Let me just look that up for you. It appears that a parcel for Ms. Jolicoeur, comma, Celeste is currently out for delivery. He's uh, not happy to be here, which I get it, but shit. Is that for delivery? I was told the parcel was being held here. It was, and now it's being delivered. So I'm here for no reason, apparently. Is it being delivered to Ms. Jolicoeur's address, right? Let me see here. A parcel for Jolicoeur, comma, Celeste is being delivered to 316 Rockwell in the Byzantium Estates. I'll be on my way. Thank you for allowing HPS to be your only option today. What an honor. So it's being delivered, but maybe to the wrong place? It'll be very annoying if it was being delivered already to her and I went on this trip for no reason. But I already am basically going on this whole trip for no reason. There's supposed to be a parcel delivery service, so why aren't they delivering the parcels? Don't you think we ought to go inside? I suppose. There's an outside possibility we'll run into Spencer Woolrich. I don't know if I can handle a run-in with Mr. Woolrich. I just stand there, gawking and starstruck. You would, wouldn't you? And then I'd be embarrassed by association with you. Maybe we should just stay outside. If only you guys were nice enough to stand in a light or something so that... healthy if they are well adjusted to a sick society? If only they could stand in a light better so that I could just see their faces better all the times. You, are, you guys are scripted to have conversations when I cross bridges because that's where nothing happens. I've seen the pattern now. It's clearly happening. Um... Rumor has it someone's pulling doubles until the retirement district is, uh, repaired. 
You guys have the wrong address? Delivery unsuccessful. We are unable to deliver your parcel as requested. Your parcel is being returned to HPS building located at 533 Eradnus. Other options are Terra 1 and Scylla. Where is Eradinus? Is that a different... Wait, is that a different... Wait, I'm just supposed to go back, I guess. The fact that there's a notice that it's not... wasn't delivered. Please give it to me. Just please just give it to me. Is that it? Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service, where all parcels are guaranteed to be delivered within acceptable margins of certainty. How may I be of assistance? Yeah, I've got this notice to pick up the parcel. I must respectfully ask that you calm down, please. Parcels must be picked up at window A. Are you kidding me? If you would like to lodge a complaint about the quality of your service, please request a complaint form at window C. If you would like to request a complaint form at window C, please make an appointment. Let me guess, if I want to make an appointment, I have to request a form. I see you're familiar with our company policy. Fine, I'll go back to window A. To be fair, it's easier for me to go to window A than it is for her to go to window A. Because they, they're not, it's not like they're all connected back there. All these people are in line to complain, and there's nobody here. Huh? And there's nobody in window C, and all these people are in line to go complain because this place is awful. Uh, you guys are lucky you have armed guards. How may I be of assistance? I'm here to pick up a parcel for Celeste Jellicure. Remember the thing I came here for in the beginning place? Of course. If you could just verify for me that you are Jolicoeur, comma, Celeste, or an officially authorized proxy? Celeste gave me this. Everything seems to be in order. Here you are, one parcel. I hope this has been a pleasant and satisfying transaction. No. Halcyon Parcel Service thanks you for your patronage. No. Goodbye. Escape. Escape. Still less frustrating and more funny than real life delivery. <sighs> there was a time where I had to stand in line for 20 minutes because I was shipping a microphone to Effie in Canada. And after the, all the setup, they then hit me with a surprisingly hefty fine for shipping that was like 30 or $40. And I was like, fuck. But okay, I just I just want to get this over with. It's, that's exp more of expensive than I expected, but at least this will be over with, and our dungeon master will have a proper microphone now, and so on. That's nice. Uh, then the Effie the got street. notified. The one with the spacer's choice aficionado looked like she'd styled her hair with engine grease. Doesn't she know the spacer's chic look was last season? Enough. They're standing right here. Uh, they must be talking about... Actually, it might be you. Or it was Parvati. Uh, but then Effie received notification that Customs was gonna be, uh... Or specifically, uh, UPS was gonna be charging him, like, a hundred dollars for clearing Customs. So Effie had to, like, run in and clear Customs himself on an emergency. And so he had to do bureaucratic shit too, just to get it talked down, to, to clear it himself, so that the, that so that the price was much much less. Because otherwise, it was gonna we we're gonna get hit by a hundred dollars of like hidden fees, just to ship a microphone. After we've already shipped it, so like we don't really have a choice at that point besides to return it. But then like I already paid the big price for the starting shipment, so it's like motherfucker, like you guys are just fucking with us at this point. But after all that. Uh, that microphone's broken now. <laughs> uh, so we went through all that shit, and I would have been better off just buying a new microphone from scratch instead of trying to send my existing one, because that apparently that one died. What the fuck? Hey, careful. Don't go running around in the middle of a crime scene. What happened to Celeste? You mean Ms. Jolie Kerr. She was reported for practicing a subversive aesthetic. We found her in her office, working on something perverse. 
she didn't cooperate, so we had to put her down. Never took her for a dissident sympathizer. You... you killed Celeste? That's insane. No argument there. Feels like the whole colony's going insane. What with dissidents infiltrating the walls of Byzantium. Byzantium cultural standards are enforced by Universal Defense Logistics. Universal Defense Logistics. Your first and last line of defense in the war against sedition. Oh. So we've gone past the ultra-capitalism straight into actual fascism now, including the squashing of art that is seen as dissident. You created art outside of our accepted and militaristically enforced cultural norms, therefore you must die. Uh, excuse me. This place needs to go down. This is a problem. Hello. Free lunch equals best lunch. Oh. She made it, though. No documents to read. Well. I I, I killed another character, essentially. With my interactions. I mean, I don't accept responsibility. That's bullshit. But, yeah. There's been another death as a result of my arrival. In this case, we pushed the artist beyond the cultural norms. She was too subversive and evocative with her art. Seemed like dumb bullshit to me, but apparently, it's fucking dangerous. Prison stories? Do people really trade cigarettes like bits? Among other things. Got any recipes for bathtub hooch? I've always wanted to try the real stuff. We didn't have bathtubs. We made it in toilets. Ooh. Mm, quite the interesting taste. They're bonding like a lot. <laughs> the, uh, by, di by dangerous, I of course mean dangerous in their eyes. Hey, we did it. That's it. Final main quest. <laughs> Our final remaining quest is the main quest, is what I mean to say. It's all cleared out. Well, what's the armor like, I guess? Certified Explorer's hat, plus one to perce plus one to perception, holy shit. That's a core stat. For exploring the great and dangerous vistas of the galaxy, or just looking like you do. And then Chimera. Dialogue skills plus 10, 53 armor. That is uh, a lot of armor. Let's see, sort by armor rating. It's only 10 below what I had right now, and it looks like this. My, ar my head armor is way down, though. Still, I'm curious. Why can't I see it here? I've got my helmet on, but I can't see it in that camera angle. I need, like, light on my character so I can see it here in the idle camera. That's a look. It is continuously weird that you don't ever see what your character looks like, so, like... The fact that it looked like this is, like, unknown to me. And I can't even see it here. What a ridiculous helm. Anyway. It's one of the only ones that doesn't hide my face. But it is... bizarre looking. I keep forgetting I'm playing on hard mode. Also, my idle camera shows a weapon that's actually not currently out. Interesting. So I guess, I guess visually I'm always wielding that regardless. Alright, I've got the parcel, motherfuckers. There's nothing to see here. Move along. You know, that's just the sort of thing folks say when they're trying to hide something. I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. 
delivery for the minister. Yeah. Let's see it. Got this parcel right here. Hmm. Looks like your papers are in order. All right. Go on through. Why wouldn't you just take the parcel anyway? Security leak. You might have some trouble convincing me I shouldn't just shoot you. But that's a you problem. Oh, that looks like it's covered in blood. A UDL security attendant is always prepared. Uh, not for me. How did me. you get in here? Uh, the door opens. Should probably fix that. You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Minister Clark. What a remarkable honor it is to meet oh, you. Oh, go fuck yourself, Max. So, this is one of the guys who runs the colony, huh? Small room for a big shot. If this is about another aether wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Why would I want something like that? Slowly and loudly, Aloysius, that's the only way these morons understand anything. I said, you may tell Charles to go fuck himself. Call me a moron again and I will end you. Oh, terribly sorry. I thought you were part of Rockwell's PR team. But if you're not, that means you're a dissident? A real live dissident? But what are you doing here? And how did you get in? I'm the one asking questions. Then what are you... Oh. Where is the dimethyl sulfoxide? Drugs, of course. What else? Why did I get my hopes up? Back to idiot speak. I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. I don't know if our chemicals are here, but this guy is definitely not. Will that be all then? I have records proving you've been hoarding dimethyl sulfoxide. Dimethyl oh, sulfoxide. Dear, I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Unless. Of course, of course. It's Rockwell again. Who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. You better start making sense real fast. Chairman Rockwell. He's kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name. But this proves it. Yeah, sure. It's always someone else who ordered the hookers an energizing ointment. Please, this is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. Why would he go through all this trouble? How should I know? I've been under house arrest for years. But there is a way to find out, and perhaps to set things right. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. Captain, we must investigate Rockwell. An injustice like this cannot go unchecked. Indeed, it cannot. I can't overstate the urgency of the matter. We really gonna do this? Getting involved is a messy business, and it rarely pays. This is about more than bits. This is about the survival of the colony. If you don't help, who will? Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. The HHC headquarters? Halcyon Holdings Corporation, the collective of companies that run the colony together. Allegedly in partnership with the Earth Directorate and appointed Minister of Earth. Seriously, I wouldn't trust you to run an empty warehouse. I assure you, I didn't ask to be locked up and made to perform like a trained animal. But I'm attempting to make the best of an opportunity. 
I only hope you can do the same. Now we've got to get into the HHC. That's in the Acropolis district, along with the other major corporate and government facilities. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. Obvious reasons? They're rather dirty. There are also rumors of sprat infestations, faulty auto mechanicals, and other unsavory hazards, if that sort of thing bothers you. They're significantly more morally dirty than physically. Once I get into the Acropolis District, what then? When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. What used to be your office? Oh, I haven't been allowed up there in years. I shudder to think what Rockwell's done with the place. A gilded minibar, perhaps? A personal theater? A man has too much money and too little sense. How did you manage to hang on to your access card? The board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. You. I merely hid it in a book. No one reads anything longer than a few pages around here. Obviously, the chairman surrounds himself with the cream of Byzantium's elite. There are a few advantages to dealing with imbeciles. Well, thanks for your help. Wait. Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please. Take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. Why are you trusting me to help you? Why indeed. I know so little about you, much less your motivations. But I'm afraid I don't have many options, confined as I am. Besides, I've nothing to lose. If you're looking into Rockwell, I can only hope you're also looking out for Halcyon. What's on the cartridge? What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more, all exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. You're awful trusting for a guy who's been locked in his own house for years. The Earth Directorate is our best hope. Even Rockwell's resources are no match. And it is hardly in their interest to let Halcyon crash. How long will that take? Depending on the nature of their response, months at least, perhaps years. Organizing and sending personnel all the way out here is no mean feat. Well, it's something. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck, and trust no one in the Acropolis district. Well, <clears throat> looks like we got here a potential activist. And here I was considering shooting him in the face. Looks like Rockwell's the guy I need to shoot in the face. I can't jump over this rail. Shoot Rockwell in the face. Do whatever else I can. Oh, can't fast travel from here. Dr. Fenghill. Have you ever contemplated the fact that we have no direct experience of our own heads? As usual, I have no idea what you're talking about. So many yearn for the opportunities you disdain. There were those who would give their hand to be born of Byzantium as you were. Now, why couldn't you just have said that in the first place? I'm not even entirely sure if that was synonymous to what he said before. I guess this is why he was kind of excited to see me a true, real-life dissident. Because he's a bit of a dissident himself. Congrats to him on not dying, because the other dissidents aren't so lucky. Wait, none of these sorting options are... armor. I can only do that in my own category, apparently. Weird.
You have 55 armor. I guess value is better than value to weight, weight ratio. 53. Yeah, she's already up there. How about you, Vicar? 32 is not great. That's instantly better. 40 is not amazing. 53. That's my other armor set, so I should keep it open, I think. Thankfully, I've already got my way through here, because I've already been through the maintenance tunnels and all the distressing things that that entails. Well, wow, it's really that You warp in so close to them that it's shocking they don't, like, accost you on the spot. This, it's Frankly, it's, like, impressive they don't notice me back here. They're like, I don't know, they're already behind the barrier. They must belong there, I guess. Yeah, probably. I'm not going to stop them. We'll get ridden up. Beatrice Reichert. Yeah. This is one of the only places that actually still looks clean, I guess. Everyone in this building must die. Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Anti Clio, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. Oh my god. Their greetings are sponsored. I want to die. I'm sorry, but I've already exceeded my friendly banter quota. Wow. Cool. I hear Minister Clark's moving his office into his residence. The poor man does nothing but work. Most of the day-to-day -day business goes through the adjutant, Sophia Akande. She handles matters while the chairman's away. Every everything seems pretty closed off. I hear Minister Clark's moving his office into his residence. A poor man does nothing but work. Can I just walk in here? Stay your business. What's up? Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. Are we gonna have a have to have a matrix moment here? Oh. Is this official enough for you? Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. You'd better be joking. I'm not authorized to employ humor on the job, sir. Now, let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of forms? Oh, what a shame. You don't have to be sarcastic about it. Yes, Look, I do. You don't have time to wait on new forms, and I can't afford the citations for impeding HAC business. So I'm going to save us both some trouble and waive your forms. Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs, and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny, and they'll paint the walls with your guts. If you took my guns, I was probably going to kill them with my bare hands. You guys excited? Hmm? Yeah, you're excited. I can tell. Hi. We're going to be best of friends, Percival. If you'll forgive my saying so, that outfit looks splendid on you. Not thanks. It's dissident. The creator died. You you killed her for making it. 
What exactly do you do here? Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. I'm also responsible for organizing the adjutant's stationery, which is more of a hobby. Ugh. Exciting. The art of arranging stationery is a never-ending source of joy and satisfaction. Will there be anything else? Why do I get the sense that your entire life has been a uh, sensory deprivation tank? Personal. Any chance I could meet Chairman Rockwell? Ah. Oh, you were being serious. I'm obliged to inform you that Chairman Rockwell is unavailable for an indeterminate duration. Will there be anything else? I would like to make him unavailable for a permanent duration.